So I had my appendix out a month ago and it has completely wiped me out. Which is great because it's now week 6 of university and I have done nothing. So I've got two goals this week. Study like my reputation depends on it because it does. And start using Twitter like a journal because I, I need to write things down. But first, let's go back in time. Good Monday morning or I'm going to go to the gym for two hours. Okay, so we're back to present day. Um, I'm going to go head to a computer pool for two hours and do math. Got myself an X, wasted about half an hour. I got through one practical, just went for a lecture, and now I'm going to do another practical, go home and have dinner. That class is full. So I'm out here in the wilderness of the university car park, and I went to the wrong car park, didn't I? So... I've got a test for my IBS in a week, and I really, really want to that test to result in a positive because I'm pretty sure my IBS is caused by some bacteria, and those bacteria need to be alive to get a positive result, which makes logical sense, although the grammar could be improved in that sentence. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go buy some food that I know is not great for me. Not the bad, bad food, but like the mediocre shit. Um, so that I get the test results that I want so that I can prove to the doctor the, the stuff in the things. English good today. So I went to the shops to buy some sultanas so I can have some sweet flavoured oats. I, I bought all of this. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Well, I just ate far too much in one sitting. It's night time. What do I do at night time? Oh yeah, that's right. I walk the dog. Hello. Well, I'm freaking out because I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> These chickens are hatching. I was told it was going to be 30 days. It's been 20. A and I don't have anything planned. Like at all. <sighs> okay, we are calm. Pipping can happen 24 hours before the chicken hatches so i might have a full day maybe but tomorrow um i am going all out on making a chicken brooder i was planning on doing study to i was planning on doing study tomorrow i was told these things take 30 days Good morning, it's Tuesday, I've got a lot to do today. Here's my savoury oats. So due to some bad planning, today is going to be rather stressful. One, I've got a test today at like 4pm. I was going to study for that this morning. Um, however, this morning is going to be um, filled with the emergency building of a brooder something something for chickens, because I've got chickens. And, um, oh, oh, and... Obviously, I started back on the normal people diet, and I've already sh taken two shits this morning. Yeah, they weren't violent. <sighs> but I, I don't think this is a good thing, especially for today. All marked up, ready to go. Got my safety glasses, and I should take off the jacket. Step two. All right, so here's the outside. Here's the inside. And there's the top. It only fits in one way, so I've drawn some little characters on it. And now it's got a handle. Backing plate, socket thingy. Right, I've got my box, I've got some cleaning products, extension cord. I've locked the little shits out. Now I need to make clean. So I just spent the last 20 minutes looking for this, the uh, metal thing for the water. Mm-hmm. I walk past it every day. She working. Right, so they're still locked out. Got a giant pile of gross feeder, waterer, extra bucket just in case. Clean hay, brooder box. It's a hover brooder box, they go underneath. And here's what it looks like underneath the handle broke, so I'm putting on a new one. Right, that's all set up. I'm going to go wash my hands so I'm clean and go fondle a chicken, I guess. There it is. It's very cute. But I think it might be a bit wet. Okay, so the chicken is not wet. 
I'm going to put it in the brood box and cross my fingers. Mm -hmm. Hello, little buddy. I was sitting down having my lunch, and something bit me on the butt. Yeah. Right, I'm in the university computer pool. I might, I just might, be able to get all my practicals done before this fucking test today. Right, so I've studied as much as I can possibly do. I've done all the practicals, read everything I could, um, within reason. And I've got a test in about 40 minutes. And this, this right here is going to be my fifth shift for the day. I love normal people diet and stuff. It's great. But did a test, did my sixth shift, bought a light bulb from Bunnings, did a little bit of shopping, got the dog inside. There he is. The chicken's still working. Chickens! Somewhere. Okay, these guys are way fluffier. There's the little cuties. So unintentionally, I spent about $25 on this light. I now have 24 hour access to mealworming-ness. This is amazing. I have just, for $25, I have doubled my potential work output in the mealworms. It's kind of cool. Oh, and another $25 over there, um, which is great. And I have a nightlight. Also, I kind of just don't want to move right now. I should probably get up. Yay, I did it. Right, he's been walked. Now to go to the gym and do things to my biceps until they scream at me. I already hate myself for doing this. That was the shortest workout that I'm actually kind of proud of. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, a sandwich with our week short for Della. Sleepy. Alright, I've got to get undressed now so that I can have a shower. So you need to go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, you pervert. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm trying to read and the chickens keep chirping. I'm going to leave them in there until morning because... Uh, it's probably too cold, cold to take them out right now. It makes me feel bad because they're stuck in there, but they'll be fine. I couldn't stand it. The cute little shits had their feet trapped in the holes of the incubator, so I rescued them, even though I should have waited a little while. They weren't fluffy yet. They're cute, though. That's seven chickens now. Night, night. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Got another one, cute and fluffy. There you go. Right, did an hour at the gym. Uh, 40 minutes of cardio and an hour-ish of back. Yes, back. Um, I feel like I could probably work out harder, but I don't know how. Also, did some shopping. I was going to go to class today. Um, then I realized I don't have to. My very late brunch. So that's a bit of a problem, and that's a bit of a problem with a clean lens. My apologies for the grainy footage. Right, so this cord has been a tripping hazard, it no longer is. Here's the cute ones. I think there's eight now. Um, they have been at the food, thank god, and the water's half gone. So I'll top that up tonight. Also, the water feeder is leaking because it's on a tilt. Well, I guess I can fix that by just moving it, but um, I'm going to have to put some holes in that. So when you tip this up, it stops. The hole touches the bottom so it can't go out. So I'm going to put some holes in the neck um, so that it <laughs> bleeds out. Yeah. I should probably also put the chicken starter in some kind of bucket, you know, because rain and rats and all kinds of nonsense. Drill, small drill bit, big drill bit, scraper thingy. That's right, it's a deburrer. I think he can see why the deburrer is necessary. Damn, that looked kind of good. Right, so I should probably do that whole study thing I was talking about. It's already 12. So it has come to my attention that this maps class that I've got, the assignment isn't due for another month. However, my soils course has a test on Monday. It is currently Wednesday. 
and seeing as I've only got four to five hours until someone comes around for dinner, um, I'm thinking soils course might be a better idea because the maps thing, honestly, I'd be better off being in the university for 12 hours and just smashing it out because that's something I can do one after the other. Whereas studying for the soils probably doesn't take as much time. And I'm not good at studying for that in the uni. Brain work different at uni. So I'm going to do the soils. I'm restless and struggling to study. I'm also kind of sleepy. Maybe a nap. Right, so I had a whole heap of cars for lunch. And then I felt sleepy. Had a nap. Because that's what happens when I have carbs. And then I spent about an hour doom scrolling X. And I understand why everyone's depressed. That is trash. Absolute trash. I'm still going to use it as a little notebook. But dear God, so much trash. <sighs> I am not happy about today. I had a friend come around because she's threatened me with violence because she needed to see those chickens. They were cute. Um, so I made dinner and everything. She came over, we hung out. That took out my entire afternoon, evening, I guess. Which means I didn't go to the uni in the afternoon. Which effectively knocked out the second half of my day. Because some girl wanted to see some chickens. I, like, don't get me wrong, I had fun, I'm glad she came over, but... I could have scheduled this for tomorrow, where my day is a little bit more structured and not murderable. I know she watches this, so you, you murdered my day. Grr. Late morning, it's Thursday, my phone has been flat uh, until now. Um, I've been to the gym. Um, I'm at uni. My bag seems to be a bit fucked. Unfortunately, I only did two minutes of cardio today because, um, symptoms. Um, my bottle just fell out my bag. Great day. I'm not appreciating the effectiveness of my studying right now. I missed the carnival study. I was so much better. Rawr. I'm gonna have a shower and go to bed. Yep, very tired. Friday morning, just after 6 a.m., I've got class at 9 a.m., which means technically I have enough time to go to the gym this morning, which I guess I'm going to do. All right, so I've got to go feed and water the baby chickens. And I've got this for my water jar. Um, in hindsight, I realized I could have just got a water bottle with a lid. This thing's heavy. Still only 10 chickens. They've got food. They go through water at an alarming rate, though. These guys have plenty of food, and that water level is still pretty high. We're going good. Wow, the sun came up fast. All right, I'm going to eat my breakfast, go to the gym. I might do lower back and abs today. Then I'm going to come home, put some pretty people clothes on, go to uni, and... That's about it, because it's like six hours of classes today. Right, so I'm checking the eggs. I haven't had any chickens in 24 hours, and I'm a little concerned. Um, I went to the gym. My abs are still a bit tender. That was fun. Anyway, I got class in 50 minutes, so I need to get changed and get to university, I guess. Yep. Trees are blooming. They smell funny, and I like it. Someone just saw me filming, and I'm so embarrassed. Oh, my God. I was going to get a turmeric latte, but the cafe seems to no longer exist, so there's one across campus and I've got time. So I had this big old epiphany yesterday while listening to one of my lectures. God, I miss chai lattes. Right, so story time. Uh, the lecturer was talking about how she went to Fiji and she was explaining to the locals how crop rotation works. And I'm like... I've been anxious as fuck about going overseas and teaching stuff about farming. And I'm like, if these people don't even know about crop rotation, I am going to do a great job. Dunning-Kruger effect. The more you know, the more anxious you are about what you actually know. Right, so today we looked at some birds. And next class, um, we're going out to a national park 
and doing a survey and I barely understand what's happening. Right, so I'm gonna go get lunch and figure out how to call a park ranger. Yep. So I got myself another taro. They actually put in five scoops of taro powder. That still kind of tastes like water. However, they did put in a little bit of fresh taro. Didn't know they did that. It tastes a little bit better. Um, I'm probably never gonna have this again, but if I was, I would tell them to put in a lot more fresh taro. So it's just minding my own business, listening to a podcast type thing, um, Alex Hamozzi this time, and he said something that hurt, hurt my soul. He was telling a story about how one of his mates was complaining about his arms not getting any bigger. He was like, how many sets you do in a week? And he's like, six, six, ten, six reps of ten. I'm like, person, I'm like, that's not much, is it? Then he said... You should be doing 12 sets six days a week. That's not double six. No. He said six days. So every single day of the week, you do 12 sets of the same muscle group. And then you have a rest day. That's insanity to me. But I want to look insanely good. So I guess that's, I guess that's my life now. Where am I going to find the time? On the plus side, moving that much weight will definitely give my heart a workout so I could possibly reduce the amount of cardio I'm doing, which I fucking hate. I hate cardio. It's so boring. That's like 120 bench presses. Although he did say arms, so that could be split into other types of arm movement, like barbells, dumbbells. I guess I could... Split it up a little bit. That's a lot. Just finished the class. Forgot to call the park ranger. So I've got to do that Monday. Um, and I'm going to go home and make dinner. Yes. Right. So it's just after 5 p.m. Bedtime's what? 8, 9, 10 p.m. I could use a few hours to sit down on a computer and study. But I don't think that's a good plan because my brain is dead so clearly i have a plan for my time obviously so I just put food on um i'm gonna check the chicks no new babies right so food walk the dog candle all the chicken eggs make sure there's still chickens inside them and they're not going bad um double check that the chicks still have food and water and then i think i'll go to the gym I should maybe portion out my food before I start to eat. God damn. So apparently Instagram Reels are worse than YouTube Shorts. That's probably two hours I just wasted. Okay, so I checked a third of the chicken eggs. And there's definitely still chickens in there. I think maybe the ten earlier ones were being sat on. Which means they hatched earlier or something. I don't know how chickens work. Um... I also checked the live chickens, and they're good. God damn, stupid gym girl. I just did 12 sets of 10. I am not okay. Three types of exercises with four sets each, all on my arms, chest, whatever, bench press and associated. <laughs> Saturday, just woke up. There's sunlight. I don't know what's happening, but I feel pretty good. Just check the eggs, no new babies. There are still 10 live ones. Fed and watered them just now. Uh, two of them have stripes on them. Don't know what that's about. And one of the chickens, the big ones, keeps going for the baby chick feed. Um, so I need to fix that. Plenty of feed, the water's still good. Fresh water just in case. Three broody chickens, apparently. And because that chicken was eating the feed under there, I have made a little skirt to keep them out. Okay, let's look at the cuteness. There's ten. So when I did have a rooster, these chickens refused to be broody. And now they are. There's three of them being broody. Right, so I'm going to go hit the gym like it owes me money. Yep, that that's a joke. 20 minutes on the treadmill? No. 
bicycle, yes. And then over an hour doing hip and thigh abductor thingies. Oh my god, I am jelly right now. So I just went to the shops to figure out what to do for lunch because the plan is to go to the university and plow through um, all the practical stuff that I have to do for the mapping class. Um, then I realized I, I can just walk to the shops at uni and, and buy food there as in like either the actual shops or a restaurant. And I, I've got enough at home to make a snack. We're good. I don't need to waste time shopping. We're good. Right, breakfast. Let's go. Savory oats, barocca, and a banana that I'm going to have tomorrow. Right, so my laptop fire is falling apart. And I just so happen to have this fancy thing. It's got room for my snack. It's got a cute little pen holder. I have no idea when all the fuck this happened. That's a crap. Anyway, I now have a prospecting scale, so I can do my project tomorrow. Um, I did have to go to three shops to get this, and it probably cost me about two hours. Um, however, today's time is not as valuable as tomorrow's time. So technically, I did a good thing, maybe. So because shopping took so long, I got myself lunch and a taro latte. And I'm disappointed. I like the taste of taro, but it's just never strong enough. Oh yay, 2 p.m. I got an hour worth of study done in four hours. I am not happy about this. I do not have a plan to fix this, but I'm not happy about it. You know, I could just sit here or I could go have a shower and then go to bed. That sounds nice. Bed. Beds are warm. I'm going to go have a shower. Good morning. It's Sunday. I can definitely feel the hip abductors that I did the yesterday morning. Um... It's particularly on the right side because that's the side I sleep on. Which reminds me, I used to sleep on the floor. I should maybe get back to that. However, I have had my breakfast. I should probably go to the gym now. Yes. All of the gym. So much gym. Yes, I checked the chickens. Yes, they're all alive. Yes, everything's fine. 20 minutes on the bicycle. And 4.9 thousand kilom kilometers kilograms um of volume on bicep and tricep <laughs> over like an hour and a half ish i mm, it hurts to hold up this phone right so at some point i do need to can out some mealworms however i've got work at 1 p.m it is now almost 11 and mealworms always take at minimum four hours to get through uh so i think i'll be doing that after work today if Yes, I will be doing it after work today. None of this if, buts, maybes bullshit. Which means I've got two hours. I'm going to go to Bunnings and buy a chicken feeder. Because I'm not super keen on them having a bowl plate thing of food. I, I, w I, would, like, I would like more efficiency. They kick it everywhere. Today's a good day. There's Bunnings sausages. And I just got a drive through park, so I'm facing... Outwards. <laughs> so financially, I am an idiot. I had a client book from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. I take her out to the movies and get some food. Um, it's what I do every Sunday. And she called up to cancel because she's got a dinner today. I then calmly explained to her that she would be home by 5 and her dinner is at 6. So technically, I could have got paid for the work not done the work so i could have done something else a and i wouldn't have had to pay for food or the movies but if i didn't explain the situation i, I would be an asshole and i i don't like being an asshole but financially i, I could have been a lot better off <laughs> now to wait around for half an hour because she's always fucking late Right, it's 5 p.m. and if mealworms take four hours, that means it's going to be 9 p.m. by the time I finish. So I'm going to get dinner now. Yep. Oh dear God. I had an ice cream sundae for dessert and judging by the trumpet solo that I did in the toilet just now. Um, my plan of feeding the bacteria so that I get a positive result on this test for tomorrow is going very well. However, I do not want to move. 
<laughs> Play shitty games, win shitty prizes. I'm having a very shitty day. My pants are in the wash. And I am going to just go lie in bed because fuck the rest of this day. Peace.